Kiroche, Chief Executive Officer, who is also the Nakuru Senator, Tabitha Karanja, was on Thursday charged afresh following a tax evasion case of 14 billion shillings after the prosecution amended the charge sheet. However, the Senator denied those charges and as Audrey Chorotich reports, the Nakuru Senator has now been given 45 days to initiate an alternative way to resolve dispute. Once again, the Chief Executive Officer of Keroche Industries, Tabitha Karanja, has found herself on the wrong side of the law for tax evasion of 14.5 billion. Karanja, who denied the charges against her, has asked the court to allow her to settle the dispute she has with the Kenya Revenue Authority in an out-of-court settlement. Instructions uh, from the provisional effort. Irene Mude, a KRA official, told the courts that there were no documents indicating that Keroche's company needed to settle the dispute outside the court because Keroche would be required to inform the commissioner in writing under the Tax Procedure Act. My instructions uh, from the commissioner are that so far there is no receipt of any intentions to have the matter set out of court. Uh, in line with Section 109 of the Tax Procedures Act. According to KRA, the Keroche company did not honor its payments amounting to 30.3 million. KRA wanted the court to find Keroche CEO Tabitha Karanja and Director Joseph Muigai to be in contempt of court and face judicial sentencing for the disobedience. Audrey Cherotich, Look Up TV. That story by Audrey Cherotich.